FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retired Early and consists of a community of people who chose to throw out the outdated traditional retirement model, instead choosing to save and invest as aggressively as possible so they can take back control of their most important asset, the ability to choose how they spend their own time. Following the FIRE path generally consists of a combination of adopting a fairly frugal or minimalistic lifestyle, having a high savings rate, often upwards of 50%, and investing usually in low-cost stock market index funds and or real estate. But how exactly did FIRE become a thing? In 1992, a book called Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez was published. This book popularised the idea of choosing freedom over your time instead of spending the best days of your adult life on the 9-to-5 treadmill to earn an income. The authors had experimented with living a simpler and more minimalistic life and both became financially free by investing their money to build modest investment portfolios that could support their lifestyles indefinitely. They found that people were curious at how they managed to do this, so created workshops to help free people from the cycle of consumerism and debt and educate them on the benefits of simple living and financial independence. In the words of Vicky Robin, money is something you trade your life energy for. You sell your time for money. It doesn't matter that Ned over there sells his time for $100 and you sell yours for $20 an hour. Ned's money is irrelevant to you. The only real asset you have is your time, the hours of your life. The FIRE blog is born. Dominguez unfortunately passed away in 1997 and the book didn't start to get mainstream traction until the rise of the internet and blogs in the early 2000s. Without the internet, it's hard to see how this movement would have spread at the rate it has. One of the first blogs on this subject started in 2007 and was called Early Retirement Extreme by Jacob Lund Fisker, in which he discussed ideas around radical frugalism, such as living in a trailer, and how he managed to keep his annual expenses down to under $8,000. He considered himself retired when he left his career as an astrophysicist at age 33, having accumulated a net worth of 25 times his annual expenses. Fisker released a book under the same name as his blog in 2010, which contained a mathematical study of the impact of savings rate on a person's ability to retire, which has now become commonplace in the FIRE movement. One of the other big moments that propelled the FIRE movement to its current level of popularity was the Mr Money Moustache blog, created by Pete Hadeney, who retired from his software engineering job at age 30. His blog now boasts some of the most dedicated followers, who jokingly go by the name of Moustachians. Pete's story attracted huge media attention and was featured on some of the biggest names in the business, Market Watch, CBS News, The New Yorker and Forbes, just to name a few, which spread the ideas of FIRE to a more mainstream audience. In the last decade, the FIRE movement concept has continued to gain traction and spread far and wide, mainly via online communities through the sharing of information through blogs, podcasts and online forums, and has become particularly popular with millennials. The modern day fire movement. Many of the modern day fire bloggers often speak about the light bulb moment that went off when they first read Your Money or Your Life. But it took over 20 to 25 years from the release of that book for the fire movement to really hit the mainstream. After the Great Recession, many millennials found themselves questioning the stories that they had been told about how life should go and became disillusioned with the status quo. Taking on large amounts of debt, working for our whole adult life for a company to allow us to live a life of waste and consumption to just about keep up with the Joneses no longer appeal to large amounts of the millennial population. Out of this desire to live a more intentional and meaningful life came a whole new set of ideas for how people should approach life. So there we have it. From my research, it seems that the modern day fire movement came out of that 1992 book, Your Money or Your Life. And then, as the internet and blogs took off, the ideas started to spread and hit the mainstream.